Okay, so from what I've read, a certain magical virtual on is a sequel to a light novel that was born as a non-canon spin-off to a certain magical index. Virtual on is not an anime, but index is. In the game you fight in mech suits, and it's nice that each suit has different movements and quirks, and while the combat itself is okay, one detail will make any Gundam or Armor Core fan ditch this game the second you hear what I'm going to say. In the game you can't customize suits as you like. You don't have the you don't have the crazy customization options you get in other games. Here you have only 13 playable characters and that's that. No customization, but at least those playable characters are diverse and each character has different animations and and his or her max suit feels unique. As game modes you get a mission mode where you get some dialogue before and after each fight. It's nice that this part has voice acting. You get a survival mode, where you beat waves of enemies till the timer runs out, and you get an arcade mode, where you get to fight several enemies one by one. What bugs me is that you get only a handful of arenas in the game, and since they are so few, I expected more care towards the arenas. On PlayStation Vita, they could have done a better job. I mean, the Vita is more capable than this. Maxud games on PSP have the same graphics as the Vita game. So while the game mechanics are okay and actually the game mechanics are pretty good, once you finish the game's 5 hour campaign you don't get much replayability out of it. Sure it has ad hoc multiplayer and online multiplayer and some other game modes but good luck finding players online and the other game modes get repetitive pretty fast. So overall the game is good. But too bad that it doesn't live up to the high stakes set by Gundam and Armor Core.